this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring branch cache. So we're going to add the branch cache for the network files shares role. What we're also going to do as well is we're going to configure branch cache in a local group policy editor, and then we'll enable it for a file share. So branch cache just allows me to cache data to our branch offices and also gives users easier and faster access to their files. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to add the role. So what I've done here, I've got one of my servers. I'm just going to add roles or features. It's going to bring me in wizard. So within the wizard, we'll just select next. On the installation type, we're going for rule-based or feature-based installation. We're going to select our server. And then what we need to do is we just need to modify one of our server roles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to file and storage services. Then what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to file and iSCSI services. And then we'll scroll this down a little bit just so we can see all of the options. And I'm going to select my branch cache for network files. Now that I've done that, all I'll do is select my next button. We won't bother with any additional features and select next. Just on the confirm installation, we'll select install. This is going to go away and now install the feature. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the feature is installed. And the installation is now complete, so we'll select our close button. And then what we need to do is we just need to enable branch cache for the server. So all we're going to do here is just come to a start screen. And we'll just come into our GP, a GP edit utility. So the next thing we need to do is just come to computer configuration. We're going to come for admin templates. Then under admin templates, we'll expand network. And then under network, what we're going to do here is we're looking for the landman server. And then what we need here is we just need to double click on our hash publication for branch cache. And what we want to do here is we just want to enable this. Then we've got some options here. So we can allow hash publication only for shared folders with branch cache enabled. Disallow publication on all shared folders or allowed on all shared folders. What we're actually going to do here is we're just going to enable it purely for servers on which branch cache is enabled. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. And we'll just close down the group policy editor. So the next thing to do here now is just to enable branch cache for a file share. So we'll come into File Explorer. We'll go to our local C drive. And then on our local C drive, what we'll do here is we'll just create a new folder. We'll call this folder share. Then what we'll do, right click, come to our properties. Then on the properties, what we're going to do here is click on our sharing tab. And click our advanced sharing tab. And on the folder, what we'll do is we'll share this folder out. Then we select caching. And in the offline settings here, what we're going to do is we're just going to enable branch cache. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. Select OK again. And select close. So now what we've done is we've now enabled branch cache and enabled one of our servers shares to be used as a branch cache share. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.